All right, so I'm recording a video on how to um, buy and sell futures on Coinbase since I haven't seen anyone do a video on it yet. So basically, you're going to find futures over here on the left between spot and portfolio. And they have this little invite. So you, you might not see it. It's, I think it's only open to, to some people. And then once you click on it, you're going to have to apply. And um, basically, you, you have to be a U.S. citizen on the Social Security number. And you have to make over $50,000 a year. And then they'll open it to you. So um, once you become a member, um, you're available to trade over here is going to be zero dollars because as they use USD, but they separate your um, spot trading account from your futures account. So you can either transfer funds from your spot account right here. I don't have any USD in my spot because, you know, if you keep money in your spot account, it should be USDC since it earns interest or you can go ahead and deposit from your bank account here as well. And then you can also, you know, transfer money from your futures to your spot account. All right, so once you have some money to trade, uh, right now, I think it's a good idea to probably be shorting because it's going, if you look at prices of Bitcoin, for six months so it's goes for a while and then goes up right and then drops back down it's here and this is it's not even flattened out yet and this is today or November 10th let's go let's go back to five days so this this is today so it's going up and then I imagine it's, it's going to go back down but that's what I'm betting on all right so let's go let's first of all see that the list price is actually 37864 but the, the current um the last price of a future that sold was 38165 so this is always going to be a little bit different because someone is saying um, on November 24th, this is how much I'm willing to pay for uh, a, a percent, a, let's call it a unit, right? So these are tenths or one hundredth of a Bitcoin. So um, my orders right here, you can see I, I said on November 24th, uh, I'm willing to sell someone a Bitcoin for 38,200, 38,140, and 38,160. So what I'm hoping for is is the price to drop. So on November 24th, if the price is 35,000, then I will buy three units at 35,000 and sell them to this person who agreed to buy them at 38,200 and, and make some money. But if you're if you're expecting the price to go up, then you would say, oh, on November 24th, I will buy those from you at 38,200, 38,140, and 38,160. And if the price went up to 42,000, then I, um, he's basically saying um, he's going to buy those at 42,000 and sell them to me. Um, sorry, I'm going to buy those at... Um, 42,000, sell them to him at 38,200, 38,140, and 38,160. So he's going to um, make a profit. So basically, if you want to short, there's a um, limit in, in market. Right now, because the fees are the, are the same, it's 0.05% for taker or maker. So when typically when you go market, you're a taker because you just want to take the first um, set um, or you want someone to buy the first person who's willing to pay your, um, you know, who's willing to pay 
to, to buy your amount and it'll be this person right here so you pretty much um, sell it at this price because this, this person's willing to pay that and then because it's, it's the highest right now right see so and then uh, and then limit um, it says this is a taker so you're actually placing a, a order in the books and then someone has to take take that um, so you're a maker now and so typically the, um, the fee is cheaper for that but right now the only reason to do limit is if you don't um, want to um, sell on the 24th at this price if you want to sell it at a higher price so that's probably what I'm gonna do so right now my positions are actually at minus 40 cents because the, um, <clears throat> the price is going up so I will probably do some more shorting and this will kind of hedge my bets so if if I place right at if I um, say in, on November 24th I'll sell at this price um, my order is going to be filled you know at the same time as the other 160 people that were there um, if I put um, at this much you don't even have to wait right you're you automatically fill this order so I want to so let's say do 30 38 180 it's a good place so I'll do 38 180 and it's already moving pretty fast but there's 520 um, people that are willing to sell at 38 180 Well, the prices, people are changing the prices on their order. So let's go ahead and say I'll sell one at 31, 38, 180. So the, the contract multiplier is basically um, uh, the units of Bitcoin. So for Bitcoin futures trading, they're doing 1% of a bit, Bitcoin as a unit. If you switch to the ETH uh, market, it'll be 10%. Then notional value is basically how much you're paying. So it's basically, so you, you can see that's kind of the Bitcoin's at 38,000, right? So it's 1% of 38,000 times the number of units. So if I change this to two, then I'll double. And then leverage is um, basically they're letting you um, giving you credit basically letting you l leverage um, the opportunity to make more money or lose more money so if I lose <laughs> um, I'll be losing 2.79 percent how much I'm actually um, gambling or or I should say your profit and loss right and so it's not going to be two point seven nine how much bitcoin i'm paying but the difference between the prices when we go to sell so then margin required is uh amount of funds before fees that must be available on your account to place an order so it's basically right that notional value divided by the, the leverage and then we already looked at um fee which is 0 0.05 percent so five percent of 38.190 we're paying 19 cents for this so hopefully we make at least you know 19 cents or <clears throat> or coinbase made money and we and we didn't and then this is how much it's basically going to cost me out of my available to trade to go ahead and short this so before we pull plug since we've been doing it for a while let's go ahead and look at the prices so the prices have gone up a, a bit so let's go ahead and raise our price a little bit All right, so let's go ahead and preview sell and then sell. All 
right? So then if you look at your orders, you can see now that I have an open order hasn't been filled yet. Um, and it might never get filled, right? If the price number goes up to 38,225. But if it uh, looks, it already did though, right? But um, if it didn't go up that high, didn't go up that high, um, then it was probably moving in the direction I wanted for the rest of my contracts. So, um, so that helped offset my um, my losses as well. So my original losses would have been more, but now my average entry price is, is higher than it was before because my orders um, started at 38.140 and I went up to 38.225. So now I'm only out a dollar seventy at this point, unrealized profit and loss. So um, to buying is basically opposite of shorting, right? You're gonna say um, this person's saying I'm willing to sell at 38,190 in 24 days, and so you're saying, all right, I'll buy at that price. Uh, hopefully, the price goes up, and then. He has to pay the higher price to go ahead and sell it to me at the lower price. So that's how um, futures on Coinbase works. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.